How do you know your Baofeng HT isn't illegal? Illegal in the sense of not meeting FCC standards for harmonics. Well, I've got this one here, and I tested it, and uh, yeah, it's, it's not legal. So it will be disposed of. How do you test a transmitter for harmonics? Use one of these, a spectrum analyzer, a really handy tool for the ham shack. And this one comes with a little whip antenna and a couple of connecting cables like, like this and a, a stylus. You know, uh, years ago, spectrum analyzers were like this and cost thousands of dollars. Now they can shrink a spectrum analyzer into this size for a couple hundred bucks. The link for this one's in the description. Now this is not a professional grade spectrum analyzer like this one here, which costs about $1,500. But even RF engineers use these tiny SAs for a quick desktop calculation. Now, this video is not going to be about how to use one. There are plenty of good uh, tutorials here on YouTube. Uh, this is uh, just a, a bit about what you can do with a tiny SA. All right, checking transmitter output. That's what we were talking about at the beginning. Helps verify that your transmitter is clean and complies with FCC Part 97 spurious emission limits. Antenna system diagnostics. Use the tiny SA with a small whip or loop antenna to track down switching power supplies, LED lamps, or routers causing noise on your band. So that's just a little sample of things you can do with the tiny SA. You know, with low-cost tools like this and VNAs, hams now have access to tools that hams of yesteryear could only dream of. Consider subscribing to this channel. Ring the bell for updates in 73.